Let's see this brain dance. Judy will help. She's a mox, too. Besides, we go back, uh, years. V, yeah, this is I important. To you. Judy's always I been there for me. Always helped me. out. I trust her. Uh -huh. But she's a mox, not the latest member of your crew. Try not to forget. So, uh -huh. you'll be a good boy, tread lightly, and keep that tongue on a leash. Relax. Believe it or not, I'm no stranger to tact. In biz or life. <clears throat> hey, there you are. This is V. He's here for that BD role. And V, this is Judy. Best brain dance editor I know. Enough already. Hey, Judy. Compiled your BDF. What do you think? Will it do? Still pretty raw, but yeah, ought to do. Mm-hmm. V needs to get deep inside. That's most important. So, let's calibrate. Tune it to him. Believe me, I've dealt with worse. Should see the jig jig street porn we gotta contend with sometimes. So we drop V inside. Let him look, let him rummage around, right? How about it, V? Raw brain dance. Ever taken a dip before? Think I can handle it. Let's just do this. Right oh. Sit down. Settle in. We'll get you going. Got to create your sensory profile first. What profile now? A model of your perceptions and emotional responses. Need to adjust that so the raw BD won't overwhelm you. If I don't, best case scenario, you'll get nauseous as soon as you're in. Probably barf like you would in a shoddy virtue enviro. Mm-hmm. And worst case? Your synapses sizzle like locusts in a deep fryer. But we're not about to let that happen. Nah. -uh. Okay. Hit me. Just promise me it won't hurt. It won't. Not this time. Now sit still, look at me. Gonna run the analysis soft. Should feel a slight tingling. Mm-hmm. Okay, now let's set the optics and other sensory sigs. Look smack into these two screens. Pretend it's an eye exam. Am I gonna have to do this calibration dance every time? Not necessarily, but it's worth the wait. Give me two more minutes and you'll see exactly what BD analysis is capable of. One more sec. Need to get the pain receptor limiters in. Okay. All set. I need to test your profile first. Tossing in a sample BD. You can use it to get to know the editor. Now let me see. Where could we... Can't he just use my recording? Why are we wasting time? So we don't risk our necks? Sides won't take a sec. Got something here. Should be perfect. Boot it up. Mm-hmm. Let me give you the tailored version first. Let you get your bearings. Then we'll jump into editing mode. Be diving in in three, two, one. Plan simple. Do nothing odd. Don't get creative. You go in, snatch the cash, get out. And we sell the BD to those psycho freaks from the studio. Got it, got it. And remember, everything on full blast. They'll spot us extra for a wicked adrenaline high. Okay, on you go. Everybody! 
On the ground! I want to see you kissing the flooring! Money! Now! Or I will fucking drop you, I swear to God! Whoa! Yeah! Hey! Uh, uh, now! Before I blow your fucking head off! Ah! Slow, deep breaths. Your cortisol and adrenaline spiked, but the soft activated your hormone blockers. Nothing happened. You're alive and well. That flash of intense shock. I can still feel it, I remember. Fuck, that last second. It could have warned me how much it hurts to die. Trust me, real death hurts much, much more. Not so sure about that. You'll be fine. Got everything set up? Let's switch over to editing mode. I'll sever the link to the BD Roller's sensory array. You'll be able to look around freely. Whole scene's yours. Full cam control in analysis mode, so move around, zoom in and out, whatever else you come up with. Think of it as your own little sandbox. So, analysis mode, you control playback. Can even pause when you feel the need. Then you use the editor console to unpause. Try it. Plan simple. Do nothing odd. Don't get creative. You go in, snatch the cash, get out, and we... Sell the BD to those psycho freaks from the studio. Got it, got it. Dream as hell, right? Well, that's not all. You can speed things up or rewind, whatever you like. Give it a try. Rewind. Roll it back to the top. All good. Neat. Now try fast forwarding a bit. Plan simple. Do nothing odd. Okay. You can also reset the recording. That'll take you right back to the beginning. Try it. Now for some fun. This here's why you came in the first place. In analysis mode, you get to view and even scan details of the enviro recorded by the BD roller. Focus on the heat, the gun this gonk gets from his buddy at the beginning. Now scan it. Plan simple. Do nothing odd. Don't get creative. You go in, snatch the cash, get out, and we sell the BD to those psycho boys with you. I got it. And remember, Everything on Volust does want a wicked adrenaline eye. Okay, on you go. Okay, right here. Excellent. Let's move on. Now, heads up. In analysis mode, you can ferret out background noise and conversations if the roller got close enough. This tech records everything, every little detail, even the sights and sounds the roller was never aware of. To see the sources of the recorded sensory signals, switch to the audio layer in the editor. Go ahead and try that now. Okay, good. Now you should see several sound signatures in the store. Choose one and hone in on it. Okay. Fuck! On you go. Ah, little shitheads! Go restock. I'll take the register. How about you suck a bag of dicks, eh? So, any thoughts? Unbelievable. Seriously. Like what's happening right next to me. Yeah, it's how BD recording implants work. They pick up everything, all the elements in the background. Then an editor tweaks them, makes them pop. Keep playing with the sound, explore it a bit. We'll move on when you get bored. Go restock. I'll take the, the register. And a of How about you suck a bag of dicks? Okay. Hey? We have a deal today on two flavors. Cuddy and yeah. Serpent. Everybody! Sometimes you can analyze extra layers in the raw. Stuff the roller's cyberware picked up. Like what? Ev's got Kiroshi optics that grab infrared. Meaning you should be able to grab heat signatures from her recording. Huh. <laughs> Hello, nice. Now, let's wait till the guy punches out the gonk at the counter. On the ground! You wanna see you kissing the flooring! Money! Scanning works on peeps, too. Walk up to the wounded chick. 
Try scanning her. All right, next thing. Scroll forward to the part where our artist gets a lead injection. Now, or I will fucking drop you! I swear to God! Oh, yeah, now! See that? They shot him and he never saw it coming. But you will. Here it comes. My favorite part of the game. See the blinking thing over the entrance? Surveillance cam. Must have caught our shooter. You'll see in a sec. Cam feeds to the screen behind the clerk. Roll back to where the screen's in the kid's field of vision, then scan it. His own chumba shot him. Probably planned to all along. Must have got a nice slice of cred on the black market for a BD like this. BD freaks are ready to pay a preem for a real flatline. Anyway, if you've seen enough, you can exit. Get everything you need? Yep, that'll do. Thanks, Judy. We got it. Later, T-Bug. Nice work today. See you soon. I'll wipe the cash on your data. You were never here. Keep it. I'll put it on Ev's tab. Portable device for handling BDs. I already uploaded your calibration settings. Not as sophisticated as what we got here, but should do the trick. And it keeps you out of harm's way. Clever. Speaking of harm's way, know what I see looking at you? Walking, talking corpses. We needed that recording, Judy. The BD practically does our job for us. The BD will be the death of us. Seriously. If Arasaka finds out you have it, you're dead. I'm dead. Judy, relax. Nobody will ever know. Evelyn, please. No shortcuts. You go that route, City will always win. So be careful. Of course I will be. Besides, we'll talk in a bit. the heist, I take it. Must have, uh, talked to Evelyn. Didn't need to. Whole damn city's hurt. Listen, need to find Evelyn. I really don't want to talk about her. You know where she is? what I just say? Drop it. I won't tell you again. Judy, you're my one hope. The only lead I got. I gotta find her. And I know you can help me do that. Who told you I'd want to? Can we meet? Let's meet, please. You at Lizzie's? Stop telling every joy toy you meet to come here. The hell I'm supposed to do with them all? You so concerned about strays? Go take care of your guest. Suze, we're not done here. Oh yeah, we fucking are. You just don't give up, do you? Got nothing more to say to each other. Thought I made that clear. What was that all about? Everyone in this city lives in their own goddamn bubble. And either you fly high or sink into quicksand. Susie seems to know what she wants. She your boss? You come all this way just to play who's who at the mocks? 
Moxes and nomads don't seem so different. Both seem to yammer a lot about community. Solidarity. Classic dilemma. What comes first? Family or the outside this world? This is a club. Nobody cares about your lofty world views. Listen, have you seen Evelyn? Need to talk to her. It's important. Why? So you can make her your scapegoat for your train wreck of a heist. Need to find out who she was working for. That's it? That's it. Judy, you don't need to worry. I won't lay a hand on it. it wouldn't make sense. Fine. All right. Evelyn's a doll. Used to work at Clouds. Sig case on my table's got the address. Take it, and once you find Evelyn, give it to her. Megat Tower. Luxurious. Wait. Um. Just let me know how she's doing. Okay. I'll give you a call, okay? Thanks. Thank you, V. I called, didn't I? Promising's one thing, keeping it's a whole other bag. So, managed to learn anything? Evelyn's not at Clouds anymore. Behavioral chip was damaged. Apparently they carted her off to a ripper dock, goes by fingers. Oh shit. Know where to find this fingers character? Yeah, runs a dinky chop shop off Jig Jig Street. Fuck V. Guys, all kinds of bad news. Heading there now, to find her. I told her to stay the fuck away from clouds. Uh, all right, later, V. Fine, I get it! Hope Everyone's that teaches got those candy-ass sky suckers hey. not to come around here no more. Hello! There's a line! Nuh-uh, you ain't cutting. Sit your ass down and wait your turn. Fingers guy. You know him? Heard some things, yeah. Like? His hand sometimes slips. Glad to see a familiar face. I'm worried sick about her, V. Had no idea anything had happened. We'll find her. I know we will. After the heist, Evelyn holed up with the mocks for a while, right? That's right. So why the hell she go back to Clouds? Thought she'd be safer there. God knows why. Tried to get her to see straight, but she wouldn't listen. You talked to Fingers yet? If only. He's harder to get in to see than the best docs in town. We're gonna be here forever. I just know it. Maybe you could talk to those girls? See if we can cut in front? Why me? I don't think they like me. Just give it a shot. That or come up with something better. Your eyes I think he's adjust. done. We going in? Eventually. Yes? Hello. What can I do for you? Need a minute of your time. A minute? That's all? Shame. Could watch those juicy lips of yours flap for hours, days. But I'm busy right now. You tiger claws! As far as I know, I'm all paid up. We're with the Mox. The Mox? Why didn't you say so? So, what brings you here? Evelyn Parker. I need to know where she is. Step into my office, please. Many girls come through here. So many. But let me put it to you this way. I believe in giving each of them the personal touch. Ask anyone. I'm more than a chop doc. 
See, I know what people truly want. To be flattered, praised, patted. To feel like... like they deserve it. Of course, I can't remember each and every one. Please set your exquisite derrieres down. Focus V. What about your logs? You gotta have some kind of record. Tech like this, you don't register. Don't put any names down for it. Blue hair, doll chip, best brain dance gear ever, though damaged. Was she here? Poor girl. Tried to help her, I did. But as you can see, this isn't exactly a state-of-the-art facility. You mentioned you couldn't help her. Help her with what, exactly? If I only knew, I wager she'd be standing here, happy and smiling. Instruction register on her chip was burnt to a crisp. Tried replacing it. Nothing. Damage was caused by a netrunner using homebrewed malware. Sounds about right. Get to the point. The point? Ah, yes. Well, I haven't the faintest idea where she is. Enough of this bullshit! What'd you do to her, you freak? Now, either you put a muzzle on this creature, or put her down. It's impossible to have a conversation with her around. You're scum. Pathetic. A waste of words. I'm a hair away from putting you down. Two beefers from a BD studio took her. Didn't even know their names. They mentioned a moth of all things. Virtues with the death's head. Said she'd be good for the moth. Need air. I'll be outside. I let her go back to clouds. I could have stopped her, but I didn't. Don't worry. We'll find her, I know it. We'll fucking find what's left of her butchered corpse. Hey, keep it together. You want to give up now? No. Only lead we got's an XBD. Where's that get us? We also know we're looking for something related to the Death's Head. It's better than nothing. I don't get your optimism. Still sounds like a big fat nothing to me. Dead said symbol bring anything to mind? Anything. Doesn't matter how small. This industry... I mean, market's looking for every kind of fetish out there. It's cavernous. But an XBD outfit would be on the move, almost always. It makes them harder to nab, harder to sting. You need to figure out where they're scrolling this stuff. Gotta be a rat hole of some sort. Doubt they do much shooting on location. Yeah, gotta be somewhere quiet, out of the way. It could be we'll see something to point us in their direction and one of their virtues. Ugh, have to be real gonks to leave a clue. Everyone, everything, will leave something behind. Just need to know where to look. Lucky for me, I'm running around with the best BD specialist in town. Has an extra pair of expert eyes. Well... Your BD expert has a better idea. Pleasures of Night City, a domain with its twin on the dark net. Every kind of thing goes on there. Might stumble on something useful. Let me think for a sec. Dark net domain. That's our best bet. Let's stick to the plan. Fine. Here's hoping you turn up something useful. I'll wait in the van. How about you? You buying or just gonna 
stand there like a pig under cover. What have you got? Virtues. Any special kind? Well, let me put it to you this way. Those who know, don't need to ask. Looking for BDs. A particular kind. Particular? You a badge? Cops are like kids. Mommy and Daddy wouldn't let them go off in their lonesome. All right, all right. Can't be too careful. What do you want? Give me the best of the best. The ones with the death's head. <sighs> Didn't know I was dealing with a connoisseur. Death's head will cost you, though. How about a discount for your newest customer? Only give regulars discounts. If you're short, then fuck off. Got anything that might interest me? Pleasure doing biz with you. Hey, V. Let me get everything prepped. You make sure the wreath's snug on you. You'll watch while I edit in real time. The old one, too. Ready when you are. I want you to describe what you see. You might catch something like this. Gotta be. No one else with that kind of fashion sense. Poor fucker. Ordered recently. Your corp patch and the coveralls. <gasps> Scav woman. <laughs> Who knew that sides chopping people up they were scrolling XBDs? Can't beat that rich synth golf aroma. Cheap shit. Cold, too. Mm-hmm. Buck a slice. Ordinary box. Decker, Tanaka, Rogers logo. Standard. Coffee was cold. Okay. We're looking for an electric core power plant located near a buck a slice. So? Means he someone's grabbing buck a slice regularly, which is not something someone does for the flavor and fresh ingredients. Pizza shares his DNA with styrofoam. I'm just gonna slap across town for it. Electric core power plant in Charter Hill. 
Gotta make do with this for now. Nothing else to garner from this scroll. No time to lose. We gotta go there. Definitely. Ride with me? ...has been touted as Night City's best corporation to work for. Let's get going. This On our way. ...this award can be attributed to the numerous employee benefits they offer, such as five paid vacation days a year, unlimited access to stimulant pharmaceuticals... Still can't shake it. That virtue sample we saw with the Death's Head moth. If all they scroll is snuff, then... Stop it. There'd have to be other gongs to waste her on something like that. What do you mean? We're talking about a girl who's not only a natural at what she does, but also has got a doll's implant. I mean, that's not a package you find lying out in the street. The NCPD scored another victory with the adoption of a policy allowing the shooting of a limb to be considered a warning shot, a change that should keep officers safer. The Night City Office of Cybernetic Technology has been formally dissolved as a result of budget cuts. The office formerly responsible for implant certification will shutter its doors next Tuesday. The administrators of implant authorization are now the manufacturers, guided by the standards they themselves have established. Thank you. Here at N54 News. We'll see you next time. And here we are. We going in? Find us a way inside. I'll hang back, scan the subnet, see if there's any blueprints of the complex lying around. Join you as soon as I find something. Let's link on Hollow till then. All right, going in. That's Evelyn. Just don't touch her. If she's recording, you'll scramble her brain. Wait until I cut her link. Grab it and tell me when you're gonna yank it. I'll break the link at my end at the same time. What do you think? What do I do now? What we came here to do. Find the truth. Ask her. Johnny, she's unconscious. Or she's a better actor than we thought. All right, let's do this. Wait for my signal. Here goes. Ready? And... Now! Thank God. Ev? Evelyn, you hear me? She okay to be moved? No brain hemorrhages, damage to the spine? Doesn't seem to have any wounds. Guess we got no choice. Let's get her somewhere safe. Fast, too. Which way? I sealed the doors and managed to power the elevators. Elevators it is, then. Come on, is it really that hard? Please, just one. For me? Fine, have it your way. Smoke to your lungs content. Ah, oh, finally. Something better than exhaust in the stench of the city. Don't tell me you don't feel it. We going in? Let's give him a couple. You saw how she looked. If it was up to me, I would have splashed some water on her face back at the studio and asked her straight up. Won't be looking much better if you don't get your ass in gear. It's not up to you, though, is it? Let's go. She's sleeping. 
Uh, at least I think she is. Her eyes are closed and she's not shaking anymore. I would have already killed her by now if I didn't feel so bad for her. You're mad at her? Why? When you asked me to scour her behavioral chip, I was just about done dealing with your shit. Judy, I didn't have any I know. Other... It's okay. So I don't get why... You'll find out in a sec. I'll show you the virtue I found. How many BDs did you manage to rip? Two. Only one of them's intact. Understandable, though. The rest... Well, they're in the same shape as Evelyn right now. Okay. Show me. Give me a sec while I set the parameters. Guess we'll find out if our doll really did lose her tune. Come on, V. I'll be the first to admit. This does not look good. Well now, look at you. Hey. How you feeling? You need anything? I'm not here to nag. Just talk. Listen, Evelyn. I really need your help. It's important. If I don't do anything, and do it soon, I'll die. I know it's a bad time, but I gotta ask. Have you got any idea how to remove the biochip? Or know anyone else who might. You're right. This is a complete waste of time. Hey. How you feeling? You need anything? I'm not here to nag. Just talk. You're right. This is a complete waste of time. Have a seat. All right, roll it. Data was in pretty rough shape. Not all that editable. Huh. Glad you managed to salvage them in the first place. Needs a second to load. Quality's lousy, but I did what I could. What am I looking out for? Every single piece of tech I see, security. We need a living new heater. Take a look around if you want. Hmm. I think I recognize these. What are they? Vive markings. You familiar with them? Not enough to know what they actually mean. Heard of who might use them, though. Who? Could be the Voodoo Boys, but that's just a hunch. Can't be 100% sure. The spine chilling Netrunner crew? Hard to find, because they don't want to be. I wouldn't know where to start. Every single piece of tech I see, security. We need a layout of the whole room. We will get everything else we need from the virtue. What about his messages? Only if you can do it and be parfait pour it's most important that he suspect nothing. Try to be your usual, relaxed self. And if he starts talking about the biochip himself, should I... Biochip? See the who you... Sure. Might not be important. Maybe. All of them are from Pacifica. Now's down our search, at least. And if he starts talking about the biochip bio himself, will you hear this? Should I? That is not of interest to you. You spin the virtue, you come back here. We give you the eddies. That is your one job. The rest is none of your concern. Understand?
can't see your face. <laughs> Under normal circumstances, oh, that kind of encryption's easy to crack. But not this time. Whoever she is, she's got serious network yeah. skills. That, yeah, or someone's working it for her. Yeah, what now? It looks like I'm going on a field trip to Pacifica. All right, I think we got everything. What do you think? The woman who hired Evelyn. Any idea who we're up against? Your guess is as good as mine. Sorry, V. Looks like Evelyn never told us the whole truth. You're telling me? If I'd known what she'd gotten herself into? Uh! I'm so mad at her. Her only job was to record a virtue. It's pretty damn amazing she managed to organize a full-blown heist. And swipe the biochip from under her boss's noses. So that's where you came in. She hired you. And brought this all on herself. On you two. There's one more recording. Wanna see it? Sure, why not? Nothing can surprise me at this point. What language is she speaking? I don't know. Haitian Creole? It is the voodoo boys. Didn't I? Wait, let me see if I've got an auto translator. Meantime, you try to tune into the phone's frequency. See what the other side's saying. Try scanning the phone. Got it. Give it a second. We have to know what they're saying. Could be important. Fine. Just found the auto transit package. You should get along fine with your system. I'll install it now. We are We We are we are intelligent. We are intelligent. We are We We Okay, Judy, we're good. All right, disconnecting. I don't get it. What's this have to do with Johnny Silverhand? He died, like, forever ago. V, you got any idea? What's up with you? The biochip we stole. It's, uh... It's got Silverhand's engram burned onto it. Engram? Digitized psyche. Personality construct. <whistles> Can you give me a minute? I need to go over some stuff. In my head. Uh, um, of course. Wait, you got any idea how to get in touch with the Voodoo Boys? Why? Worried they'll give Evelyn up to him? No. I didn't trust you at first, but... Well, if you wanted to get back at Evelyn, you would have done it already. 
So why the worried look? I just... I want it all to work out for you. You got a plan? I'll ask around, make a few calls. Let me put it this way. The Voodoo Boys wouldn't trust a cat if it walked onto their turf. But someone's gotta know a way in. Well, good luck. I hope you won't need it. Thanks, Judy. No, V. Thank you. You're a... You're a good person. Evelyn could never see what was under people's skin. If she could have gotten to know you a bit better, then... Who knows? Things might have turned out differently. Hey, Judy, what's up? V, hey. can you come over, Stat? Something happened? Yeah. Just come. herself to express her undying gratitude to you for Stop saying. talking. I was... I was only gone an hour. Checked her pulse? V... She's gone. Gotta do something with her. Don't want any trouble. I'm calling the badges. Can you carry her to the bed? As if that'll change anything. Not sure we should move her before the badges get here. She's just another dead horde of them. Nobody will care. The least we can do is treat her with some dignity. I need to report an accidental death. North side, Jackson Street. No. No imminent danger. <laughs> Suicide. Tomorrow? No! Today! What part of dead don't you understand? No, she was not pronounced dead by trauma team. If she'd have had coverage, we wouldn't be talking. And fuck you. If you don't want to move your asses, why don't I come down to the precinct and trash it into bits? Now will you come and arrest me, you pussies? Fine, I don't give a fuck what you write me up for. <sighs> They'll be here soon. Told me to keep her on ice until tomorrow. Can you believe the balls? Welcome to Night City, where your address says more about you than anything else. We should have never come here. Put something on her. I'd rather she look like a person than a body. Could you wait outside? Close the door, V. Please. <sighs> Bama Sig. Didn't know you smoked. Uh, quit. It's been years. But right now I need something besides air in my lungs. Please, V, just one. Here. That was her smoke case. Hold on to it. 
No. You seem to like it. Keep it. Kinda glad it's you that has it, actually. I let her down. I thought if I gave her some t space or time, she'd get back on her feet. Stay strong, Judy. Don't let this tear you down. You know what? Let's just not say anything for a minute, okay? In her condition, couldn't think about anything else. Tech-wise, she was clean. Doll Shard was operational, uncorrupted. So, psychological trauma had to be that. Did some more digging in her virtues, found Woodman. He kept her, and had his way with her. The things he did. And once he got bored, he pawned her off. idea that guy was such a monster. I saw him as your average tricksy sleazebag. He puts on a convincing facade. I knew him, but I never thought him that sick in the brain. Gotta be something I can do about it. Like what? Don't know yet. Think I'll call Suze. Thanks, V. Sorry, but uh, I'd rather be alone now. I promise to keep in touch. Sure you don't need anything? No, but sweet of you to ask. Anything comes up, holler on the hollow. Hey, Judy. How you feeling? Shitty, but something came to me. So what did you come up with? The Mox Dive, Lizzie's Bar, used to be a joy house. Tiger Claws killed one girl too many, so people took matters into their own hands. Belongs to us now. Clouds could stand to get the same makeover. Got the Mox to agree to take over Clouds. No, I'm trying to get you. Know someone at Clouds will take our side. Will you help? Fine. Got me on board. Ooh, yes. Okay, so, what's the plan? First up, we gotta talk to Michael Maida. If she's not with us, might as well throw our hands up in the air. Maiko Maeda. Who is she exactly? Girl who unofficially runs clouds. Good at it too. What's she do officially? She's a doll, so she's a nobody. You sure Maiko's gonna want to join forces? If I was sure, I'd be on the hollow to her and we wouldn't be having this conversation. Let me rephrase. Is there any chance she'll slap us around and shove us out her mega tower window? Of course, sure. Guess I can work with that. When are we doing this? Early morning. Clouds will be closed. Hardly a soul lurking at that time. How early? Before eight. I'll be by the entrance. No, scratch that. The balcony above clouds. We'll sneak in. No one needs to know we're there. On the balcony. Got it. Hey, V. Thanks for showing. Talking with Maiko is like a game of 3D chess. Don't let her derail you. Some deets about her could be useful when I talk to her. 
Don't you think? No. Leave the talking to me. So, in brief, I'm just here as your hustle, right? Never said that. I just know the woman better. I'm ready. Let's go. Hold on. I'll open it. Looks like you've come this way before. More than once. <laughs> I have. On occasion. Easy as pay. Follow me. Judy Alvarez. I'd say it's great to see you, but I've never been one to lie. Also, I never like surprise parties, but you know. Yep, bet I even know why. Thought you'd hit rock bottom when you joined the mocks. Guess you've managed to stoop even lower now. Consorting with a persona who is very non grata. Yes, V. I mean you. <laughs> Guess it left a lasting impression. Good. Paid you one visit, and you remember me. My job, among other things, is to remember unsavory customers. Naturally, I take it upon myself to deal with them, too. Now, how am I to deal with you? Came to Clyde's for info, left with info. All the while, I did my best to make sure no one standing in my way ended up in a garbage bag. Appreciate it. Now what exactly are you after? Gonna go and harass another doll? Judy has a proposal. About clouds. Wanna come back? Done. Always valued your skills, you know that. Just don't get why you had to drag this... loose end in here. Stop treating dolls like meat and I'll consider it. But first things first. Clouds needs to be taken from the Tiger Claws. Okay, look. It's clear what happened to Ev was... traumatic. Huh? I was convinced you didn't know. That girl was asking for an unhappy ending. I was just surprised it took so long. We gotta do something! Or everyone will end up like Evie! Woodman raped her while she was unconscious, then sold her like she was so much scrap. Yeesh, you've always been unstable. Okay, since you seem more reasonable, care to explain what this is about? You aware what Woodman did to Evelyn when she was desperate for help? You sit by, let that happen? Tiger Claw bosses rule this place. Know how much I mean to them? About as much as you two and your problems mean to me. Read, negligible. Doesn't it make you wonder why you even work here? Gonna pretend as if you two weren't ever here. For old time's sake, Judy. Literally moments from now, security's gonna figure out you're here. Got two options. Go out the way you came in, or get thrown out. And that's not a threat or figure of speech. Just a friendly heads up. Had enough. I'm leaving. Smart move. And so you don't think I'm brushing you off completely, Forrest will be on the maintenance level in a couple minutes. You picked the wrong side, my go. I'll be the judge of that. That went smoothly. She totally blew us off. You know what I think? She's scared stiff. She'd have lots to lose if things went sour. Everything, in fact. 
So she'll just let things go on as usual? You have a history? Way back, yeah. I think I just felt lonely. Like everyone in Night City. She was different then. And so was I. I. Can't trust people that see everything as a numbers game. Lying between patting you on the back as their friend and planting a knife in you as their enemy is down to a decimal. I know. Right there with you, I. Well, used to have a big crush on her. Took me a long time to realize who she really was. But still, honest or crooked, we need her. <sighs> Just think, could have gone diving this morning. A little unwinding do you good. Do me good too, actually. I wouldn't have been unwinding, not exactly. Got an idea buzzing in my head, working it, but I can't say if it'll amount to anything. Yeah. You, a deck chair, and a Mai Tai with a cocktail umbrella? Somehow I don't see it. No. Me and the deck chair is me mulling over coulda, shoulda, wouldas. Something I avoid right now. Wait a sec. What about Woodman? Well, what do you want to do? I want somebody to unload lead into his face till there is no face. Somebody? Fine. Want you to do it. You sure he's gonna be there? You met Michael. That prick still works here. It's cause he follows her orders pretty damn precisely. Don't have an ounce of sympathy for that motherfucker. So, we go in there? Damn straight. Let's end them. We'll take the elevator. Quickest way. Maintenance level. It's us, Crocs. After making waves in Tokyo, Sydney, and Paris, their next stop is on your doorstep. You know it's worse than a corpo. A wannabe corpo bitch. You mean my go? Piece of work, that one. But I'll give her credit. She's dead on about your chances of pulling this off. We've just received word on a breaking story. A Ken Tao AD has crashed oh, outside of Night City. The aircraft's thrusters were deactivated by sudden EMP discharge from a nearby damaged power station in Santa Domingo. The emergency landing attempt unsuccessful. What the fuck are you two doing here? Where's Michael? Why'd she fucking call me here? When Evelyn needed help, you raped her. Could have also broken her neck. Hung up her head like a chandelier till it started to rot. <laughs> Instead, I took her to a ripper. It was due a little something in return. She should be grateful. And so should you. Hmm. Here's my token of gratitude. Punch 
the ground floor. To get out of this place. Almost felt like the world would be a better place once he died. And the feeling? It was so fucking strong. Revenge isn't ever really worth it. People want to believe it'll be the miracle pill for their grief. But that's not how it works. It's nothing. Okay, so if nothing I can do if you don't tell me. <laughs> Guess that's that. It's an AI. Well, that explains why he finishes top of my turn. Your sense of justice wasn't big enough. Michael only works with specifics. So, what now? Gotta think. We need more bodies, that's for sure. I'm gonna talk to the dolls. I'll call you when I've got some. See you later, V. Beauty. So, got a plan? Damn right I do. Come over to mine tonight. Gonna lay the groundwork with Tom and Roxy. They're with us. Michael will be here too. How'd you manage that? He's mine. Got something really big. Tell you everything tonight. Last thing, what do you like on your pizza? Locust pepperoni. And lots of extra cheese. Atta boy. So, I'll see you come evening. Of course I'll be. Hey V. Come on in. Pizza's getting cold. We're in the kitchen. You made it. Good. Grab a seat. This is Roxanne. She's worked at Clouds longer than any of us. Hello. Hey. Nice to meet you. When I heard what you pulled at Clouds, shit, I so regretted I was off that day. Just eat the free pizza and then we're out of here, okay? Feeling better? You look better. I'm on autopilot. I don't think. Just do. Sound method. A three percent change, sure. But you know how? Paul changed the status of Pacifica into a How are you? Okay, I guess, but you know, sad as hell. It is in progress. Just create a book Okay, chap. You'll never get rid of the stench of the corpse. You drop a lot of them, don't you? What's your secret? So, change your mind, huh? Quickly, too. I'm here. Doubt I need to explain why. So, what's this plan all about? I'd like to hear the answer to that, too. I modified the behavioral chip. It can equip any doll with a motor reflex system. In other words, make the doll move and fight like a preem tier solo. Fascinating, isn't it? What one can learn while tuning fake orgasms for the moxes. Mind stepping outside? Can't smoke in here. You'll air it out later. Fine, I'll sit by the window. The body will react as if executing a well-trained series of movements. Already tested it out on top. Chip's impulses supplant any natural reflexes, so it'll make users feel like they're experiencing cyberpsychosis. But it's basically the same as when we activate ourselves for a client. 
Tech that's all pros and no cons, I don't buy it. Side effects, spill them. Combat mode auto-initiates when a threat is present, and uh, there's no way to stop it. Can't find a workaround. And that's it? I don't know. Only way to determine that would be through months of testing on a range of subjects. There's an ethical side too. You can murder someone and not remember a thing. Solo skills don't lie in just executing movements. There's split-second processes that happen. Logistics, decision-making, result of years of practice. Doubt your chip's capable of compensating for that. You're probably right, but I don't see another way. Alternatives intensive training, but we don't have time for that. All right. Gotta see it to believe it. Finally, someone said it. Tom? Pulled that sequence from a Kung Fu training virtue. Gotta admit, not bad. Yeah, for the market square in Kabuki. Uh, before we start talking serious biz, gonna need to see serious action. You just saw him. I saw a bar trick. I want to see a fight. Got an expert in causing bodily harm among us. I want to see how Tommy handles him. V? Just don't mess up my digs, okay? I like it here. It's on now! What the? Ah! You there? Can you hear me? <laughs> Look at me go! You see that? Woo! Gotta do some Beep. cardio! Nice work, Judy. Outdid yourself. If you were to sell that, you'd be the richest Judy in the NUSA. Please. Plenty of killing machines in the world. I don't want to turn more people into them. After this, chips are getting micro-nuked. V? <laughs> happy now. I'm rarely happy, but that was proof enough. Let's get to it then. You've got an elite force of three muscle heads and a techie. What now? Guards and tiger claws in and around will overpower. Take down, disarm, escort them out, clouds will be ours. Bosses will give an ultimatum, a cut of the proceeds in exchange for never showing their faces at the club again, and having no say in how the club's managed. That's what I thought, a half-baked insane plan. You can't see more than an inch ahead of you. Taking out the security there won't solve anything. Claws will just send more. Hiromi Sato is the man you gotta get to. Hiromi Sato? Who's that? Cloud's real boss. He rarely shows, but you can't so much as sneeze without him finding out. Claws trust him, respect his opinion. He is one of them. We can try to convince him, but it's doubtful. We stand a better chance by injecting him with a dose of fear. Where do we find this, Hiromi? At his apartment. H8 Mega Tower. Topmost floor. It's a penthouse. Almost never steps outside its glass walls. But I'll figure out a way to get us inside. Tom and Roxanne gonna come with? No. Hole points to strike both places at the same time. They'll take care of business at Clouds. Two-pronged assault. Loving it. <laughs> that plan just might work. Maiko, I take it you're on board too. Wouldn't be wasting my time here if I wasn't. So how about it, V, Tom, Roxy? Made up your minds? I... I need to think about it. Never wasted anyone before, you know. I'm with it all the way. V? Don't tell me you're seriously considering this. Sticking our precious necks out for a bunch of whores? Count me in, Judy. 
I already said I'd help, didn't I? Thanks, V. Save the gratitude for later, please. Ugh. I'll set up the meet with Hiromi and let you know. I need a couple days. Have fun. Toodaloo. Michael, hold up. Give us a lift. Only if you don't talk to me. I feel a migraine coming on. Oh, shit. I'm scared, V. Speaking of gratitude, stuff I'm asking you to do, well, usually comes with a price tag, I know. You want to help, I get that. But I'm more than happy to pay your fee in full. Feels like it's only right. Judy? For real? No, don't want to hear it. But you... Ep, ep, ep. Not a word. Ugh. Ugh. Uh, <sighs> v, everything okay? okay. V, you don't look so hot. Uh, uh, okay. Okay, I'm better. Fine. What the hell, V? You, like, sick? It's past. Forget about it. It's late. You're tired. You can crash on my couch if you want. Sounds great. Thanks. Don't worry about it. Make yourself at home. idea how I can get to Hiromi. Pulled the blueprint, got it all figured out. Okay, not all, but we're good on the penthouse. Best bets to access it from the service level. Got a way in from there. And Maiko? Where's she? Meeting with Hiromi, to avoid raising any suspicions. She'll make him stay put until we're in. Remember, let the behavioral chip do what it wants. You got no time to deliberate, weigh decisions. Just follow your instincts. Freeze, tense up for even a second, could cost you your life. Got it? All right, we going in? Let's do this. Hoping you'd make less trouble getting here. 
Luckily, they're all jacked into virtues. It'd be game over otherwise. Right, wrong. Chicks will give you shit no matter what you do. This one's a real charmer, too. Not all girls have to be nice, Johnny. Besides, she's got to deal with a gang. She shouldn't be. Can we get this over with? Why are there three guys? What's she playing at? That's our target, Hiromi Sato. What are they watching? Demo reel of Cloud's next top doll. Specially selected by yours truly. A lucky girl's gonna replace Evelyn. Hope she proves smarter. Who are the other two? Target audience of today's presentation. Hiromi answers to them directly. Now they're gonna watch him die in a pool of his own piss. This is not what we agreed. Look at me. See this? This is a look of unfucking surprise on I my know face. the claws. To them, power is a question of strength, ruthlessness. This is the only way. Maiko! I'm about to jack him out. They will not be chirpy after the rude awakening. One show ends, another begins. Just as good and unforgettable. Understand? Maiko, our plan made no allowance for witnesses. A show of force, we said. And any show requires an audience. I know how this needs to play out, better than anyone. You gotta trust me. I thought this through many times. Do you think? Well, she is no Barker. Wait. What's going on? Who is this? Living proof that Hiromi Sato's time is up. This merc has already disturbed the clientele at Clouds once. He murdered Oswald Forrest. And now he's invaded Mr. Sato's private residence. As if that were not enough, this is where Hiromi's sheer incompetence has led all of us to. What? What the hell? I have long looked upon Hiromi Sato's foolish, inept endeavors. But this? I think it's obvious he has outlived his usefulness. V, what the fuck's she doing? Clouds need new management. Am I to understand that this future manager stands before me now, speaking with such zeal? Hold on, Micah. I think you're getting carried away. I see not all has been agreed. V, you gotta take them down. Dolls of Clouds are declaring their independence. Club will be run by them, and only them. V, let me do the talking. Tiger Claws will get a cut of the revenue, but they'll have no say in how the club is run. Stop this right now! I'll get everything under control. You cannot even control your own mercenary. Hiromi will answer for his incompetence later. Whereas you will answer for your insolence. No. Oh, fuck you myself! <laughs> What might that be? They'll have their revenge. You've turned clouds into a taking time bomb. Tried to pull a fast one on everybody, didn't you? Jumped aboard the liberation train, pretending you wanted to help. But all you wanted was to take Hiromi's place. Bravo, but you missed just one detail. I still can. And no one can stop me. Not their corpses, not yours. All right, V, get out of there. Exit. 
exits on the lower level of the apartment. Then find the elevator. Tom and Roxy are outside and safe. They weren't followed. Get down to street level, waiting by the food stalls. Fuck! Should have seen that coming. Probably had this planned from the start. Same sec we walked into her office. Jesus, am I a gonk. Don't be dramatic, Judy. There's a difference between being a gonk and believing people want to do good. I know you do. You don't need to believe that. I just know it. Thank you. See you later, V. See you around, Judy. Which was almost as much fun as leaving a bag of flaming hey, dogs on the up? doorstep. Uh, you know, same old. You? Made it look like it just came back from a corpo war tour. I got good days, got nice bad touch. days. Same as ever. Everything's fine. You Clean uh, as a call just to see how I'm doing, or? Not just. Got a favor to ask you. Ask away. It's never boring with you. Interesting people aren't easily bored. No chance in your company. But now that we've <laughs> blown each other, what's up? You're on a need-to-know basis. So, this particular mission don't require you to have no gun. Just a wetsuit. Gotta say, I am intrigued. Why the wetsuit? <sighs> Can't back out now. Just gonna have to use your imagination. You really know how to reel me in, don't you? Ain't seen nothing yet. All right then, count me in. But I gotta warn you. I look great in a wetsuit. Damn out past Rancho Coronado. Know it? Uh, sure, what about it? Little, uh, abandoned bungalow lakeside. Meet me there. At sundown. Okay. Uh, is this a date? <laughs> You're not my type, Holmes. Just show up. I'll see you there. Navy. After all that went down, I thought you and I be ancient history. Don't be a gunk. So what's the latest from Clouds? Know anything? Nothing of any interest. We got a new situation, and everybody's trying to adapt. Me too. Doesn't sound like it's all okay. Doesn't mean it isn't. Any news from the Moxes? Events? Ideas? Don't know. Don't see all that much of them. How come? You know how they are. Piss me off sometimes, is all. Something got you down all of a sudden? Um, no. Judy. Can we please not talk about Clouds, the Mox, or Arasaka, and Militech, and how the world's going to shit? Just... Rather not think about any of that today. Anything dark. So, ready to tell me what we're doing here? Well, been tinkering with virtues a lot lately and figured out a way to scroll two actors' experiences at the same time. Thought we could try it out. If you're down, of course. How does one marry two separate neural tracks? Well, at first I tried to create a single profile out of two data streams. Didn't turn out so great. Must have gotten tangled up. Interference, white noise. Yeah, effect was kind of like a bad art house. Couple tries in though, I managed to isolate specific sensations. So you load them onto separate neural tracks. No emo bogies. 
Not bad. Sounds like we could do this anywhere. Why do we come all the way out of here? What is this place? Cottage belonged to someone I knew. It sits empty now. I take the liberty to use it from time to time. And that's where we're gonna scroll? No, we're gonna scroll underwater. Nope, no way. Bad idea. Tell her to find some other yes man. What do you say? You in? Why would you say that? I don't know. Don't like the idea, that's all. It's just, when I think about the dark, the deep, palms that I don't fucking have get clammy with sweat I don't secrete. You're more than welcome to stay on shore. Hell yeah, I'm in. Awesome. So, uh, let's go. Got the hardware here. Good up, landlubber. Let's get this scroller on you. Mind coming closer? You haven't even asked me if I know how to swim. Not worried I'll just sink to the bottom like a bag of rocks? 50-50 chance, I guess. Willing to risk it for the footage. Water's toxic. That not a problem? whole reason we're suiting up. Look pretty damn fine in that wetsuit. Don't go there, dude. All right, let's do this. Freezing ass water, here I come. Okay, we're all set. You go first. too fast. Where are we headed exactly? About halfway to the deepest point. It'll be pitch black, but the currents are gentle. Ought to be safe. Want the precise coordinates? Nah, why bother? I'll just stick close to you. Okie dokes. Virtues are more to you than just a way to churn out eddies, huh? Well, duh. Think it. Paintings, songs, they're meant to produce emotion responses. Generally how any kind of creativity works, sure. Right, so art's a casing, trigger for emotion. Well, BDs are emotion in near pure form. This is it. Swim over here and look straight at me, will you? Great. Great. Signal's clear. Just need your help with a few basic checks. Need to calibrate our gear. First up, motion sensors and scrolling. Circle around me. Swim. Great, motion calibrated. Back my way now, V. Next up, sound check. I'm gonna hum a song, you give me the title. Read me. No idea what the song is. But I heard it. Go something like... All right, we're all tuned and synced. All right, that ought to do it. What now? Prepare to have your mind blown. Wait for it.
grab this and hold on tight. Down we go. to profit got some connection to this place right you got it grew up here haven't been back since laguna bend was wiped off the map why are you showing me this want to get the right emotional reactions got a feeling this will be perfect for my experiment Why is this stand to be perfect? Hoping you'll be able to pick up all the unfiltered mess of emotions this place brings out in me. Like it or not, you'll react to those feelings. That's what I want to capture. Sounds Nova. Let's do this. Played this moment coming back so many times in my head. Taking me years. Working up the nerve for this. Why didn't you come earlier? Good question. Easy answer would be that I didn't have time, gear, stars weren't ever aligned. Truth is, the very idea just felt weird. This fell off your one and only eatery. Now, let's see. Childhood for you tasted like toasted marshmallows. They always caught fire, burned. <laughs> but that never bothered you. That's nomad life for you. Can't be a fussy eatery or get no food at all. Anyway, all kinds of food tastes better with just a little burn. place for a framed picture. Water probably carried it out of someone's house. Anything to make out? No, not much. Got something here. Looks like an old photo cam. DPI 350. Practically an antique. You like it? You kidding? It's awesome. skating rink here? I wish. Played street hockey on rollerblades. Quit schmoozing, I'm schmoozing, I'm schmoozing because of you. Connie! Connie! You're dead meat anyway. 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 Go out with me? Go out Sorry, with you gotta go. Sorry, They're, gotta calling. Go. They're calling. They're calling. They're calling. 
Here, take this camera. Put it off in your hands and sit in here collecting algae. Gosh, thanks. What about your parents? Dad was never in the picture. Mom died when I was tiny. Can barely remember her. I still have her picture, but, you know, I see a stranger there. What was that? Those voices. Voices? Didn't hear anything but you just now. What was it like living with your grandparents? How were they? Granddad had a real knack for things, technical, taught me everything I know. And the stories he told, oh, never got bored listening to him. And Grandma was temperamental, hot one second, cool as steel the next. Temperamental, huh? That explains a lot. Is that a dominant family trait? <laughs> no idea what you're talking about. Where'd your grandparents go? Night City? Yeah, for a couple years. Rented the unit that's mine now. But they hated the city. Moved up to Oregon. I still go and visit them sometimes. Let's keep going, Judy. Aye, aye, Captain. Follow me. We looking for anything in particular here? Nah. Can't hurt to look around, though. Picking up very chill vibes. It feels like we're outside of time, like in a snow globe. After that, we can see what lies up ahead. Imagine anything that could be more out of place in an underwater world. Hmm. Bottled water? <laughs> Touche, Judy. Touche. Gotta say, I don't really get why they left their wheels behind when they had to evacuate. Hey, how old do you think I am? These hunks of metal have got half a century on them. When I was about yay high, they were already here. And not in much better shape. It's good cover for playing Max Tack and Psychos, though. This isn't yours? Poor thing. Been here all alone for 20 years. So it is yours? No. It was Jenny Chapman's. You took her doll. As if. Hit it. It was a monster. You hit it? Why? Because I thought only losers played with dolls. What I really wanted was for her to notice me. Ah, oh, the days when dolls were just kids' toys and nothing else. Want to see what's further on? Come on, then. Want to show you something. Got no idea how weird it feels swimming through here. Where you used to run as a kid? Where deadly life grinded along? Hmm. Can imagine it a bit. Ha. <laughs> sure 
hasn't aged at all. It always looked old and like it had landed here from outer space. Bells were cracked too. It gave off this eerie, atonal clang. Weird, I had no memory of that seconds ago. Now I can almost hear him. I don't know how it's possible, but I think I hear those bells too. Seriously? You can hear my memories? It must be a side effect. Ah, closed. Shame. Could look for another way inside. Be my guest. Did you like going to this church? Never actually went to church. Never even really paid attention to it. It was just there, you know? Once we knew Laguna Bend was to be flooded, people gathered here to plan a protest. Did it achieve anything? <sighs> Look around. I found an opening. I think we're safe to go through here. On my way. Snuck in here once when no one was around. Stood at the altar and tried to imagine what went through the Padre's mind looking at all those people. Back then I wondered how he could read people's thoughts and know everything about them. Then I screamed at the top of my lungs to check the acoustics. I'm reading you worse and worse. Huh? I read you loud and clear. Everything all right? Ah! me out. Dunno, didn't think about it. Just did what I had to do. Hey, careful. Easy now. So, you're saying you saved my life. Thank you. Told you diving into this toxic waste was gonna end badly. But you just don't fucking listen. I heard something weird just now. Sounded like complaining? Complaining? That the best you got, kid? You heard that? It's incredible. Never happened before. But man, no worries. It's Johnny Silverhand's construct. You heard his thoughts, not mine. Johnny? What? Remember the relic? The reason for the whole damn heist? Johnny Silverhand's digitized psyche was on it. And, well, his personality is seeping into my mind. Taking over. You could say his mind's overriding mine. Oh, shit, B. That mean you're... disappearing? Can you stop it? And here we go. I got an idea, a plan. I just don't know if it will... Oh, work. Why do I even bother? Doubt you should go back to the city just now. I'm pretty beat too. Last thing I want to do is drive. Let's stay the night. What do you think? Why the hell... not? Whose cottage is that then? You said you knew the owner. One of our neighbors was hell-bent on staying in Laguna Bend. Padges literally dragged him out of his house before the water came in. So he built himself another house as close as he possibly could, but then he got sick. Water was way more toxic back then.
You must be chilled to the bone. I'll brew a pot. How do you take yours? Uh, black, please. Like the heart of a merc. Ah, forgot to start the generator. I can turn it on. You're gonna take it easy. Promise to take it slow. All those people from the town. It's depressing. Most nomads have a story like that. And all of them began with the same thing. Displacement. Power's up. Judy? What was that? Couldn't hear you clearly. Something the matter? No, nothing. About Evelyn. Clouds has gone to shit. Tiger Claw no next took revenge for Hiromi and the rest. There was a firefight. Tom's dead. Roxanne barely got out alive. House is closed until further notice. I'd rather not talk or think about it. Didn't want to tell you. Didn't want you to think I blame you in any way. Why would you even assume I'd think that? Dunno, I... I'm sorry. Let's just kill the subject. I think I'll go lie down. I'm beat. on my nerves. That's you and me below. Just don't wake her up. Judy pisses you off. Why? Because she cares about people? And that reminds you you're a narcissistic asshole? She's all over the place. Refuses to take the door, jumps out a window, then acts all surprised when she gets hurt. She reminds you of Alt, doesn't she? Oh, for no, nobody's even close to Alt and what me and her had. Let's get the fuck away, can we? You fucking blow if you can. Not about to leave her alone, middle of nowhere. No, I can't talk to you when you get this. Sentimental. Waste of words. At least take a nap so we don't have to argue. Will you sit with me a while? Here's your coffee. Finally. Morning. You know, yesterday I think I'd made up my mind. I actually called you because I wanted to say goodbye. 
City's chewed me up and spitting me out. Fuck, Judy. You're saying you want to leave. Now. You know, I had this bizarre convo with a doll. It told me I had to fight, and I thought, fight for what? And now, just when I thought I knew what it was all for, friendship, trust, you're telling me you're leaving. It's not like we won't keep in touch. Give me your hand, B. All set, congrats. Just gave you unlimited access to my pad. Whoa, you're asking me to move in? If it's what you want. Or just drop by when the urge grabs you. Don't know what to say. Nobody's ever done anything like this for me. It really shows trust. Take care, V. This really it. Last time we see each other. Didn't seem so set on leaving just a sec ago. See no reason to delay. I'll stay here a couple days, then head off. It's been nice knowing you, V. See ya. And hit me up on the hollow sometimes. I'll see you, Judy. <laughs>